Yeah, and then, man, speak, speaking of that, I want to bring up what Tommy and Tish did. Tommy and Tish. Yeah. So, like, our subs. Yeah. They originally had, like, a 5% cut from the winnings. And we sort of realized this, like, yo, that's, if we win champs, like, that's a lot. A lot, yeah. That's 50K each. Yeah. And, uh, well, I think it was 2.5 each. Yeah, yeah. 5% yeah. combined. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but we had them sign an amendment that they didn't need to sign. And, you know, they could have been, they could have just taken the 50K. Yeah, so it's part, and yeah. be like, you know, whatever. They were stand-up guys, and they're like, yeah, no, we yeah, didn't they compete. were stand-up guys. They, they, they didn't want it. Like, uh, I remember Tom, Tommy. I completely, you know, because we we were gonna get Ray the whole entire time. Yeah, we were just waiting for his like visa stuff yeah, yeah, to yeah. happen. Yeah. Um, but Tommy was like, "Yo, I contributed at least a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, for the opening events." So we're like, "Oh yeah, 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 you did like, you know what I mean?" And Tommy was actually one of the best coaches I've ever had. Really, Tommy, cool. Like, when I think it was in the the final or the no, I think it was the when we were playing the Ravens uh, semifinal. Mm -hmm. uh, we lost like first map, second or first map, and then the second map, and then he came over, and everyone's like. What, where the hell, like, what happened? What happened? Like, where did he come from? And Tommy just came over. He was, like, laughing on the mic. We're down 0-2. Laughing on the mic. He's like, dude, you won't believe what happened. Like, you're going to go back and watch that and just laugh and be like, "That's that was insane. That was so unlucky. Like, there's you guys did nothing wrong. Yeah. And immediately, that was, like, reset. Like, we were like, all right, next map. Yeah. No more bitching about that. No more thinking about it. Like, so he kept you guys. Yeah. Like, that was another. Yeah, yeah, fault. but it was like yeah, so, yeah. it wasn't like a moaning. It wasn't like a oh man, you won't believe what happened. It was like a like <laughs> like dude, they just got so lucky. Like you you won't believe it. Yeah, like you know it was one of those, and that immediately. What was it? Spawn? Uh no, I think it was like a timing. Yeah, it was like a Azir Cave yellow ramp. Yep, yep. Someone was running up it while someone went uh, underneath it. Yeah, same time. Um, Call of Duty timing. Yep, but uh, yeah, one of, probably one of the best coaches I've ever had, you know. So they 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 said, "Well, we contributed a little bit, but we don't deserve the full." Yeah, I think that's yeah. what, how do you, how do you handle yeah, that, right? Like, yeah, no. So we gave Tommy the the cut, and then what was really cool was Stro gave him a huge bonus mm -hmm. out of the orgs cut. Yeah, so like a huge bonus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I think they're all getting rings too. Yeah. Tommy tweeted out, he's like, I'm the first European with a ring. Ooh. He's like, suck it. Tommy. <laughs> okay. Now, when you were saying Tommy, I, I couldn't put Tommy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Tommy, yeah, yeah I'm talking about, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tommy. Yeah. And. That's dope, man. Yeah, yeah. Good, good dude, that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah super, yep. super good dude. Um, yeah, he, he kept, uh, I, he, you know me. Mm -hmm. Like, I always make, you know, Euro jokes. Yeah. And, uh, and he would sit there and laugh at them with me. Yeah. And I'm sitting there like, you know what's funny, right? Is Wait, it, does he agree that food here is better? Probably. I mean, does, you got to be batshit crazy. You, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. you got to be like, you, you got to ice coffee or you got a cold brew. You got to be one of which those, one, you which one one of those DeSerto dudes, right? That defend, it, defend the motherland no matter what. Oh, my God. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, Tommy's always, you know, great guys, always laughing and stuff. Because um, um, you usually, you... You're like me. You're like you, when you, whenever you do an interview, whenever you do, you These know, podcasts. some PR thing. Yeah, it's like you're getting asked the same question you've heard a thousand times over. Yeah. And for me, I literally like at this point now, I will say something and be like, "That's a good question." Like I applaud you whenever I hear a question I haven't heard before. Yeah. So. Well, it's super and easy, I and I feel like you've in the same boat like you know everything that they're gonna ever ask yeah the thing is is like i try to do the best i can at asking questions that i think people like i'll fill in i'll still do the the standard ones yeah you know what i mean like the basic ones just because it's part of the story but yeah i don't know i i i, I don't know like for example i have written down the tmz fame i made more money that like i think that they oh i, oh, I got some with tmz you got what the funny well you know how, Go ahead. You finish. Well, you I thought say. it was fucking bullshit the yeah. way that they turned what a motivational sort of story was into like an evil fucking heartless little kid yeah. that was fucking thrown in their parents' face. You know what I mean? Wait, what was that for? 
Remember how you said your parents is like, all right, I'm gonna make more money than you guys this year. Oh, do they spend that? I think they 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 made it sound, or maybe I was in a bad mood that day and I read it the, I read it the wrong yeah. way. But like that wasn't like a I'm gonna throw it in my parents' fucking face. No, that you was know? like it was a like challenge. A, yeah, like a yeah. challenge. I'm gonna prove yeah. it to my. I'm gonna yeah. make them proud by doing this. Yeah. Anyway, so, so I, was, I thought I thought that was like super bullshit the way that they did that. Um, and I don't know if they did it on purpose or not, but I don't know. I I think a lot of people take a lot of um moments that you have as a human mm. that motivate you to do shit yeah and they they could either take it the right way as like uh yeah you know they dude. put themselves in that position dude you know it man what did i don't know where i saw this or read this or heard this but i was like you know what halfway through the year i was like it's not my fault if i offend you mm -hmm. and that's what but anyway speaking of the tmz interview and i talked to him after and yeah. it would have fucking worked it would have worked i was streaming at the time and i'm like dude i really don't want to turn my stream off to do this shit uh i was like and tyler's like tp mm -hmm. he was about to get off mm -hmm. i'm like yo tyler they don't know what i look like do this shit for me all oh you gotta all you gotta do <clears throat> is just swear occasionally yeah emphasize dumb things yeah and like you're good like he's got like he's got like a voice that like carries like yeah. mine and, and yeah. he so somewhat looks like me a little bit yeah, a little bit Actually, like same yeah, same hair cousins. color yeah yeah yeah, yeah yeah so i was like tyler you gotta do it you gotta do it and he's like he's like really like i'll do it and then like when it started getting more serious like all right yo it's it's this time he's like no nah, i'm not gonna do it yeah. but but i talked to a tmz guy after the guy that interviewed me and he, they had no idea what i looked like like Tyler could have actually done it. Yeah. And I, it would have been fucking. Uh, he missed out on an opportunity been, for a good been, video. We would have been trolling the yeah. borderline trolls of the, the media, yeah, yeah, the media yeah. realm. It would have been good. The, the, the guy was like, yeah, I'm glad you didn't do that because I probably would have got fired. Oh, well, that is <laughs> fucked up. When, when you put it like that and you, when you're ruining a good moment, I would have been like, dude, don't be a buzzkill, dude. It, it would have been fun. Yeah. But. But serves him right, right? Like, do your fucking research. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um. Do your research and stop fucking, you know, whatever. True. I don't know. It's, it's, it's They did ask me some pretty good questions. Yeah, I mean, they, they there's their job, right? They they, they Yeah, they're no, literally no, Yeah, no, the guy was really cool. After the interview, I was like, I don't know how they spun it. Honestly, I didn't read it because mm -hmm. the interview was pretty long. Yeah. So, but the guy was really cool. Well, they the the title clickbait was Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, I did read the clickbait. It was bad. Let your let your kids play video games. These guys are, this these guys became millionaires off of gaming. Yeah. Um. From an earnings perspective, you're almost there. Or did you pass it already? Yeah, I'm at like one point one. Yeah, but people need to understand that that's just like earnings. They're not taking the account Dude. into the, in, the like, and, and also when you like, when you make a million, you, the tax man still gets a piece of that. That's that's what honestly triggers me, a lot. Yeah.